Hi everyone. Okay, so recently I've been watching the Batman movies, the box set of Thor movies, and I've noticed that I really love the um, makeup from the f the female characters in the movies. So um, I'm gonna kind of do like those mini series of um, the looks. Um, so first we have the first tutorial will be of Vicky Vale, who is the photographic journalist from Batman, which is the first movie. Um, and her look is really natural and neutral and that's going to be fun. Then the second movie is Batman Forever, um, no sorry, Batman Returns. And it's got Selena Kyle slash alias with Catwoman. And I'm probably going to do the Catwoman side of the look because it's really dark and dramatic and will look really awesome. Next we have Batman Forever, that's the third movie. And in that we have Dr. Chase Meridian. And her look is very glamorous, um, 40s, 50s Hollywood glamour, which is one of my favourite um, types of makeup to do. So that will be really good. But my favourite of the four movies is the one from the last one, which is Batman and Robin. And the female character I love the makeup in from that movie is Poison Ivy. Her tutorial is going to be amazing, hopefully. And I love her look, and so. Keep watching for these, all the tutorials, but let's go on with the first one now. Okay, everyone, so here is our first tutorial for um, Batman, which is the first movie. And today we're doing um, Vicky Bale's Photographic Journalist. Her look is very natural and neutral, and so we're going to start by t applying a natural and skin tone colour to the lid of the eye. These are going to be really easy and really quite quick to do in this tutorial and as I said, keep it really natural and neutral. Okay, so we're just applying this on the lids of the eyes, which is just a natural kind of skin tone, slightly lighter than skin tone colour. And I'm using the number 7 um, Fab Forces palette, so I'm just using the colour that's like this light one here. Um, then I'm going to go in with a kind of um, a nice light brown colour and I'm going to apply this to the outside of each um, of each of the, about the outside bird of each of the lids of your eyelids. Okay. Just applying it in the really packing on colour. Um, next we're going to take a soft blending brush and we're really just going to take um, a shade darker than this light, a bit of medium brown. I'm just going to use this and put it in the crease of the eye and just start kind of blending it and blending that light brown into the medium brown up into the crease. And then again, just put the medium brown on the brush. And just again, popping it into the case and mixing it and blending into that light brown and medium brown together. Okay, and I need to get deep crease colour. Again, it's not so deep because it's natural colours. Um, then next, we're going to take a white, a matte white, um, and I'm using or a pearlescent white. I'm using. Um, the number seven swinging click seat um, from the um, number seven. And I'm just using this white, if that is a fed, any white will do. I'm just going to take this onto a nice soft fluffy brush. I'm just going to use this to highlight your brow. You don't need too much of this, just a little bit of it will it just put it slight, right under your brow to highlight. Okay. As I said, this is really quick, really simple, and um, and will be really neutral. Next, I'm just going to go in with a liner brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of a copper colour. I'm just using use any colour that you think any copper colour. I'm just going to use this one. I'm just going to apply a little touch of this onto a little bit on the edge of the brush. I'm just going to tap off the excess, just a little touch on the edge of the brush. 
I'm just going to run this along the on top of the top lash line, as close to the lash line as you can. And again, I'm just going to pop a little bit more on the brush, the top of the excess, and pop a little bit more, and run it along the top of the other line. Then I'm going to go in with a black, but it's a, sm a kind of smoky black, not a matte dark black. So it's kind of silvery and a kind of ashy, smoky colour. I'm going to apply this onto the, top, onto the edge of the brush, and again, I'm just going to go in. So I'm going to move my, my brush closer, my mirror closer. And again, I'm just going to go along the top of the eye. On top of the eyelash and um, the lash line, and I'm going to just put a little bit of emphasis there. Okay, then again, I'm just going to take a little bit of that black and just blow it up my brush and just put it right under at the very edge, outer edge of the lower lash line, right under the lower lash line. And again, I'm just going to do that right at the edge. Then, that's really the eyes done, and I'm just going to take a small, I'm just going to take my, um, I forgot to bring my blush brush, so, um, to do the tutorial, so I'm just going to use this little blending brush, um, and it's a fluffy brush, I'm just going to put the smallest, like, I'm going to apply some blusher, just using this one in number four, which is pink by, from Ava, and I'm, that may look a lot, but I'm going to tap off the excess, and this will probably do two cheeks. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little thing along there, same on the other side, and then I'm just going to use this to blend, just blending it right in, because you don't want too much colour, because this is very natural and very neutral, and you can't really see a lot of blush being used in the people's look. Next is the lips, and I'm just going to use a nice soft pink. This one's number seven magic pink from Asda, and it's just a nice soft pink because her and um, she has said again natural and neutral lips. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to the bottom lip, and then I'm going to just smudge it up by smacking my lips together. And then I'm just going to touch up the top lip in the centre and in the bottom. And that is that. And really, this is the look that's done. It's very natural, very initial, and takes no time at all. Once you kind of do it yourself, it should take no time at all. So thanks for watching and this is the quick Vicky Blue look from Batman the first movie.